Hey, it's Georgie. So this will be the podcast for Star Wars The Force Awakens. All right. And uh, for all of you that have watched it, the panel, it was just amazing. Right. I uh, just want to say some things about it. Let's talk about it. So J.J. Abrams, I think is, he was like the perfect choice for the for the director uh, part. At the beginning, I was like, I was I was really thinking if he would be the the right choice because he he wasn't on Star Trek. I was like, wow, Star Trek now it's like mortal enemies and everything. But um, yeah, this is he's really passionate about. About Star Wars also, so I think I think it was a perfect choice for for the director role on Star Wars. And then he was asked uh, how's production going, and uh, he kind of said that they are in post production. So there, he said they, they were editing. So this is already post production. So. Yeah, pretty soon we might have some new footage and uh, by the end of the year, the whole movie, right? So, yeah, just wait. Uh, well, as the other uh, panels, uh, the uh, most of the... No, I think it was the whole uh, confirmed cast that were there. So just for not me to forget, I'll write it down here. So it was John Boyega, Daisy Riley, Adam Driver, Oscar Isaac and Gwendolyn Christie who is also in Game of Thrones, I mean, she's everywhere now. So John Boyega is Finn, Daisy Ridley, I don't remember her name. Adam Drive and, uh, and Gwendolyn is, is, uh, is Captain uh, Phasma. So she will be like a big deal general of, uh, of the Empire. Yeah. So yeah, all of them. And um, like normal uh, panels on Comic Con, they were asked some things, and they were like, "Well, we cannot say much." And uh, they they had some like funny questions and all. And they told how easy to work with JJ Abrams and uh, with the returning uh, cast, and how easy to work in Star Wars and uh, and all these things. They had they had some. Someone asking for like for the cast and how they they cast the 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 people if if they would cast like Asians for the, for the movies and everything. It's like oh wow, I mean this those questions are are, are interesting. But J.J. Abrams was really funny. Was like oh if I could cast if, if I was the in charge of casting, I would cast like the whole movie of with agents and everything but yeah, yeah whatever it's really funny and uh but yeah this is this is the cast to I me mean, next thing i want to say is about the uh, visual effects and that's an important thing on this new uh trilogy when disney bought uh the the rights for for the movies uh and they said that they would uh make a new trilogy uh, I was I was thinking, well, we'll have another like episodes one, two, and three, like CGI and weird story and uh, kind of crappy uh, movies in general. That uh, we'll only have the name Star Wars to to well get money and everything. But um, when time passed and uh, and with like the production diaries and um, and how people reacted to the trailers and the teasers and um, and how JJ Abrams approached the, the, the production of the movies and how how the relationship with Disney and Lucas films uh, it's it's really getting along so I'm really happy with that because uh, especially for for the director that he can have 
like certain freedom to work and uh, and the writers can have like a certain freedom to work doesn't have to to be a Disney movie that's that's the main point it's not a Disney movie it's a Star Wars movie just Disney owns the right so that that I, I, was, I was really happy another thing they were really happy is with the visual effects because we had like the first trilogy, the original trilogy from 70s and 80s, so CGI was not there yet much. Uh, so everything was like practical effects and, uh, and like costumes or, or animatronics and everything. And uh, and then it came the new trilogy. Now everything was CGI. The only thing that wasn't CGI were the actors. I mean, some of the actors, because well, some of the characters, because the like the, the Yoda was was CGI and General Grievous was CGI. Like all the all the 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 scenery were were were, were CGI, and uh, and you could you could see. You could you could notice that that was that were uh, CGI, and you could feel that it wasn't natural, and and uh, it felt like <laughs> the actors felt like stamps on a on a on a picture or something like that. They they didn't belong there, and uh, it wasn't natural. They they couldn't interact with with anything, actually, and that is like. There's like a big issue nowadays in movies um, because, like even 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 like Peter Jackson, for example, he he did like the the first uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy with like only almost like a lot of things uh, practical and and uh, very few CGI to to fill fill up some things. And on the Hobbit it was just totally Star Wars new trilogy again, so everything was CGI, even the actors sometimes and everything. But Star Wars, and I was really happy, and um, especially like last year, it was last year, I didn't remember, it was last year, like beginning of this year. And uh, when the producers showed that um, that footage of the of the new droid, for Star Wars, uh, First Awakened, the uh, BB-8, and it was amazing because it was all practical. It was a real droid that he could move and everything, and and uh, it was really really exciting to see that, and the people could interact with that, like the actors could actually interact with that, could like see that <laughs> there was something there that was uh, that they could react to. So that was really really fun. And on this Comic Con, they showed another one that they called Baba Joe. It was like this alien creature, like kind of old, big creature, and uh, looks like a camel or something like that. So it's carrying like a big backpack and fill it with cages and some other creatures creeping around and everything. And it was amazing that. Um, he, he was there. It was. It was a character. It was. It was something real and and that you could touch, and then you could uh, react and interact, and uh, and uh, it was really exciting to see that. It was really really happy to see that. Like everybody was really happy to see that this this very authentic film uh, making uh, experience because. Uh, it is it is a, an experience when you when you can interact, even when things that they are not real. For for example, like the environment, uh, uh, some some part of the scene, some some uh, vehicle, weapons, or or another character that is not real, like an, this alien. And uh, having that that possibility to interact with that, it's that's the the 
movie experience. It's all the like the acting experience and uh, the relationship between the, the the characters and the actors and and everybody. So that made me really happy. The the producer said that they are they are working uh, not only on this new trilogy that will be like seven, eight, and nine, the episode seven, eight, and nine. But they're also working on anthology, and uh, I saw some footage, some pictures on the internet that they show like the whole uh, schedule of movies, and uh, so you could see like they have like the, the main trilogy, seven, eight, and nine, and they have the anthologies like they have like Han Solo. Uh, solo movie <laughs> and they had like some other uh, solo movies also like anthologies that uh, so they, they could tell the story uh, like expand the universe within this this new trilogy so that was pretty cool and yeah and Kathleen Kennedy the she's like the the, the president of Lucasfilm and the like one of the producers and everything so she said that these ontologies are, are are starting production very soon. So they're she said that they're starting filming like on two or three weeks from from now. That's pretty cool. So so we might have like we might not have to wait for like three years for the next Star Wars Star Wars related movie uh, at least. So we could have that ontologies filling the gaps between the movies yeah so that's pretty cool and then after uh, they showed this amazing uh, featurette of the of the backstage so like the production uh, backstage and uh, and and, and scenaries and, and uh, props and, and actors and uh, yeah it was it was just amazing they said that they didn't have like uh, enough footage uh, ready they had the footage but not ready yet and and uh, and developed to for a new trailer or for some feature but uh, but they showed that 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 fe that feature at that showed the backstage and, and it was amazing and uh, it, it was really really exciting and uh, it showed that they they were really doing that with, with passion and and, uh, and doing that because they really care about about the movies about the the Star Wars uh, franchise yeah well the well, next thing is the well the original cast now uh, because they 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 separated the, the panel so there was like the new cast and they keep bringing people during the the panels like they stop the questions they like hey, let's bring some other people like at the end they brought the, the the returning cast like Han, Luke and Leia Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill and Cara Fisher and uh, and more questions and how how it is to work with J.J. Abrams how it is to come back to 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 the Star Wars universe and all this this kind of things it was pretty cool, it was pretty, it was pretty cool to see them together like this this to see that that there is a, uh, a connection with this with those movies, it's yeah, it was pretty cool to see Han there again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it was really uh, emotional that the last trailer that they released, and right at the end, Han and and Chewie entering the the the. The, the Millennium Falcon and then say we're home and uh, yeah, it was really emotional and then for the surprise of everybody the the producers br brought everybody they were there at the panel to watch a Star Wars concert a live concert so and they, they came all the stormtroopers to 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 walk them to the to the place that the orchestra would would be playing, and well, <laughs> yeah, blew blew everybody's minds. 
but yeah, that was the Star Wars First Awakened Banner and Comic Con 2015. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. And I still have to do my my podcast for the Game of Thrones uh, panel on Comic Con, which I will do. I promise. Okay, thank you. This is the Mid Herder. See you.